you're new to our channel, I'm Jordan. I'm Maddie. And we are Tangerine Travels. We have a travel vlog and we're currently living in Mexico. Where but... we've been for the past year or so after selling all of our belongings to travel the world, starting with Mexico. <laughs> but our travels have taken us to Las Vegas. For our three year anniversary. <laughs> Woo! So, why are we making a video on how to do Las Vegas cheap? What the hell do we know about it? Well, <laughs> we used to live in Phoenix and we came here all the time. It was kind of like our guilty pleasure getaway trip that we would always take because we sort of figured out how to kind of hack the system, get the freebies, get the comps, the free buffets, free hotel rooms and things like that. And we figured we might as well share the love and tell you how to do it as well as we used to think it was just like a lavish thing that you could only do for 21st birthday parties and bachelorette parties and stuff like that. But no, you can do it any old time you want to with these tricks. But if you don't know what you're doing, Vegas is really, really expensive. That's why you need to watch this video and learn <laughs> all of these tricks that we've learned over the many, many trips we've made to Vegas. Let's just get right into it. Yeah, let's do it. So the first thing on our list are the casino apps. There's My Vegas and Win apps that when you play them and you can play for free, you can accrue points, loyalty points, or you can even get free rooms, free buffets, shows, tons of things like that. Guys, we get free rooms every trip because every of these apps. Time. You just have to pay the resort fees. And with this Win app, we've been playing it for this is a new one to us, but we've been playing it for just a few weeks and we already have enough for four nights between the two of us. And that's at a really fancy hotel. Those are not cheap rooms. No. So essentially you're playing like virtual slot games and stuff. You accrue points or gold or gems depending on the app. Um, they're really easy to figure out and then you can use those points to get whatever the heck you want. So. This is just things that you can do in your free time uh -huh. while you're going to the bathroom, like whatever. <laughs> and, and speaking of free time, that is the catch here. It can be very time... Time consuming. Time consuming, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. But you can get free shows, free rooms, free buffets, buy one, get one buffets, a whole bunch of other goodies like that to make your trip a whole lot cheaper. So the Win app and the My Vegas app. And just to give you guys an example of what you can get from one of these apps, in this trip alone we've gotten what? Five free nights. Five nights at the Mirage and this view, amazing. We have a strip view and everything. We've gotten um, three buffets. Yeah, we, we like to get the buy one get one free buffets because it makes our food budget here go a long way. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, not this trip, but in the past we've seen the Cirque du Soleil show Beatles Love twice. Oh, see it, it's so good. <laughs> and that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. There's so many rewards that you can choose from. We just think for the money, for the points, you get a lot with the buffets and the free rooms, obviously. So that's just some examples and the sky's the limit, really. You pick up whatever you want. Number two on our list. Hear us out, even if you're not a gambler, drinks in Vegas are pretty darn expensive almost no matter where you go. So what you can do is pick like a penny machine, or even if you're betting like 20 cents, 25 cents per hand, you can get free drinks, complimentary drinks, as long as you're gambling while you do that. So this might not be the biggest secret ever, but if you sit down for like an hour, you could get a few drinks and then that saves you 10 $15 a drink. But bonus tips, the nicer the casino, the better drinks mm -hmm. you're going to get. So Some we were our favorites. We were at Cosmopolitan yesterday. I'm ordering scotch. We're ordering expensive drinks off the drink menu, totally comped. Uh-huh. Others we really like Cromwell, Bellagio, where you Aria, can get always Aria, Aria, uh -huh, where you can get really nice drinks and they don't really care what machine you're on as long as you're kind of consistently playing. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not gambling a whole lot, it either evens out or you can kind of come out ahead. There is a catch though. So pretty much regardless of what machine you're sitting at, the drinks are going to be free. However, if you're sitting at a machine that's at a bar, Ooh, don't there, do that. there's a good chance they have it set up where we'll print out drink tickets for you and you're going to get drinks a lot faster and and spend a lot less money gambling if you're not at not a bar. Not at a bar. And don't forget to tip your waitress at least a dollar oh, yeah. drink. Number three, getting around the strip. Even if you think you're very, very close to another casino or you're basically right next door or right across the street, 
that is not the case. Vegas is freaking ginormous, and anything that you think is close is not going to be close. So how do you get around? Well, you could spend your whole life walking from one to the next and just hope it's good weather outside and you have comfortable shoes. You could use some of the free options they have for transportation, like from Mirage to Treasure Island, there's a free tram from Bellagio to Aria, there's another free tram, that kind of thing, but if you're not where there's a convenient option, well, you're probably gonna need to do something like take a cab or take an Uber or a Lyft. Well, another hack that we figured out is this brand new app which takes both Lyft and Uber and picks the cheapest ride for you. It applies coupons or whatever else so that you get the absolute cheapest ride. Yeah, so never take a cab. They're super expensive. Always take Uber and Lyft. But with this app, any ride, it does it all automatically for you so you don't have to flip between both Uber and Lyft to see what's the cheapest. It has it for you right there. And so, we used to do that. We used yeah. to be like, it would be up uh -huh. on my phone for Lyft and your phone for Uber and we'd be like closing refreshing it out, it. refreshing it, trying to get the best one. Well, it does that. So you save so much time that way and so much money because mm -hmm. it's applying all the coupons that you possibly can. So any ride is the way to go. And because we love the app so much, we reached out to any ride and they're sponsoring this video. So if you want to download this app, we'll link that to... <laughs> we'll link that below. Check out the description for the link to any ride. Number four. We said earlier that Vegas is expensive, and it is, but as you get off the strip, it gets a lot cheaper. So you go off the strip one way or the other, or you go downtown to Fremont Street, it's going to be quite a bit cheaper. You're going to have lower gambling limits. You're going to have cheaper hotels, cheaper buffets, everything like that. But honestly, we prefer to stay on the strip. We enjoy our trips a lot more when we're around the Strip. And something you have to remember is that when you go off the Strip, maybe you're staying at an Airbnb or a cheap motel, you're still having to pay for transportation costs, so you have to think, like, if you're taking maybe a $5 Uber there and back, you just added $10 to your nightly cost, and also the time that's involved in that, so is it worth it? I mean, it kind of just depends on your preferences. Number five. So up to this point, what we've told you is how to save money doing what you probably were already going to do anyway, but there's actually a lot of things that you can do in Vegas completely free. Some of our favorite things to do are to watch the Bellagio fountains, there is a rotating flower display at Bellagio, you can go in Venetian and see the canals and the beautiful ceilings that they have painted with clouds, walk around Caesar's Palace and there's lots of sculptures and sometimes people performing various things. Also. Any hotel, these hotels are so elaborate. Yeah. And every single one of them has something that just makes your jaw drop. It, like Cosmopolitan, for instance, you go in there and everything is glitz and glamour and <laughs> sparkly things and lights and, I mean, so just walking into any of these hotels, you don't have to spend a dime, but you're gonna get sensory overload and each of them has its own theme, its own style, very worth walking around and exploring and you will not be bored. <laughs> so obviously, free things are very cheap. <laughs> Number six is something I didn't really often think about when we were coming to Vegas, which is look on Groupon. If there's something you specifically wanna do, like the high roller, the world's largest observation wheel outside of, what is it, Luxor? Uh, Link. Link, Link, outside of Link. We've gotten discounted, like 50% or something, mm -hmm. discounted on Groupon just by looking on there, which is something you don't often think to do. And if you find a Groupon that you want to buy, be sure to Google like Groupon promo code for whatever month it is, uh -huh. because you're, there's a good chance you're going to find something that's 10, 20, 30% off for that, but to save even more money. On Groupon and other sites, we like to use this extension, this browser extension called Ebates, and it's kind of, it's one of those automatic things where if there's an additional discount or whatever, it will apply it, and it also gets you cash back, so say you already got 50% off, it might get you an additional 10% or 20% or whatever in cash back, which is just money in the bank. <laughs> yeah, so you get all these discounts added up and you're getting stuff really cheap. Number seven, or whatever number it is. <laughs> Book your stay directly with your hotel. Why? Well, it might be a little bit more expensive than booking on Priceline or something like that, but you can get your stay comped if you're gambling. And that is even the case, right, if you use My Vegas or something to book it? Yeah. Because it, you're it, still booking with the hotel's company, like the baseline company. Exactly. So how do you get your stay comped? You book directly with the hotel, and then you do as much of your gambling as possible in the hotel you're staying at, or at least with the same company. So 
most of the hotels on the strip are owned by either MGM or owned by Caesars. So as long as you're playing at an MGM or a Caesars property, if you're staying at one of those, then you can get stuff comped off your stay at the end. But how do they track that? When you get there, you have to sign up for their loyalty program. So that's number eight. <laughs> yes, sign up for their loyalty program. And what does that get you? Well, a lot of times they have an introductory offer where you can get free buffets, free shows for a certain amount of play. Free play, like $5, uh -huh. $10, $20, something like that. And every time you play video poker or slots or table game, you're either going to put your card in the machine or give it to the attendant, and then your play is going to be tracked. And based on how much you play, will determine how much you can get comped at the end of your stay. So. Number nine is at the end of your stay, call down to the front desk, or call down to the host and be like, hey, I was just wondering if you could take a look at my play and can you comp anything off my stay? So and this trip, you just did this this morning. Yeah, we were guilty of doing most of, the, most of our play this trip outside of our hotel at, another, at other properties, which is bad for getting comps, but that's just kind of how we like to do Vegas. It's something we could do better. But we just we just go where we go and if we're having fun or if we're mm -hmm. winning or whatever just it's kind of one of those things yeah even with the little bit of play we did they still comped us 20 bucks so yeah that's not a lot but it is something and it helps to get that bill down thanks for watching up to this point we're not quite done yet but if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more about our travels and our travel vlogs we put out and number 10 I think the best thing about signing up for these loyalty programs and always making sure you put your card in the machine is it's going to make your future trips a lot cheaper so if you play just a little bit well then you're going to be offered discounted rooms in the future likely very likely mm -hmm. and if you play a moderate amount it doesn't take that much play to get free rooms. We can even get free rooms. You might think, well, I would have thought that you would probably have to be betting thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of dollars or at least hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but that's not always the case. They're counting the coin in, how much you're putting in, not how much you end up with or how much you lose. Yeah, they, they don't care how much you win or lose. They just care how much they expect to win from you, basically what they call your expected loss. But yeah, so if you play a lot, you can get free suites with uh, like hundreds of dollars and comped free play it adds up and it's definitely definitely worth it and meanwhile you're getting complimentary drinks while that's all happening <laughs> exactly number 11 is finding i did this 11. <laughs> <laughs> number 11 is finding the best machines and you can do this by going to the website vp free the number two dot com what this is going to tell you is where to find the best video poker odds. So our favorite machines are at the Cromwell, or is it Cromwell? Just Crom, Cromwell. <laughs> and we play these machines that if over time you played it for millions of hands, for every thousand dollars you put through the machine, you would lose about five dollars. With the caveat. That you're playing perfect strategy. How do you learn perfect strategy? Well, this is another one that is going to take some time, but... It's not impossible. Yeah, and, and you can get really, really good with just a few hours of practice. Yeah, so I'm not a numbers person. I'm not a counting cards person. I'm not even a cards person, really, when it involves a lot of strategy. Um, but I was able to learn this with some apps, like free apps that you can practice with. Then, essentially, that you have those odds, like some of the best odds in the casino. Yeah, but if you go to a great video poker machine and your strategy sucks, you're gonna lose a lot of money. You might as well play the slots. <laughs> and honestly, this is a numbers game. Even if you're playing the best machines with perfect strategy, you can still lose a lot or win a lot and still have big swings, but over time, you're going to lose very little. And so the reason we bring this up is because you could sit at a penny slot or whatever and just leave your luck up to chance. You're just pressing a button essentially, or you could learn the, per the best strategy, perfect strategy if you can, and then you it's up to you to pick those hands and you're either gonna break even, maybe lose a little bit, and if you're lucky, win a little bit while getting those complimentary drinks. Yeah. Number 12 is go to Vegas during the week if you can. So Monday that's- Monday through Friday. I mean, Sunday sun through Friday. <laughs> Sunday through Friday. We really like doing this because there's a lot less people, you're not fighting through the crowds. Biggest deal is just that the rooms are way cheaper. 
Number 13 is that a lot of times when you come to Vegas, you're going to want to go to nightclubs, you know, see DJs and whatnot. Before just going up to the door, there's a few things you want to do. Go out on the street, especially in front of that hotel, find promoters. A lot of times, if not all times, there are going to be people that are trying to get you to go in there already, so they're going to give you free entry. For ladies, they'll often give you free drinks. Um, sometimes they'll even comp you a whole table if you're with a group of girls. Something else you're going to want to do is hydrate yourself a lot before you go and also do your drinking before you get into the club. So why hydrate yourself? When we were at Encore Beach Club, the water was $30. 30! 30! $30! I think that's the most we've ever overpaid for anything. And their reasoning was if there isn't a drinking fountain within like a hundred feet or something, they have to give you glasses of water. But if there is, even if it's outside, they don't legally have to serve you water. So then they can charge you freaking $30 for a water bottle. And don't get too hooked on the free drink with your entry. Mm -hmm. In our experience, that doesn't always happen. That's kind of a tactic they use to get you in the door and then it's nowhere to be seen. Go because you want to go. Don't always just make your decision based on getting a free drink because you might end up waiting for like three hours in line to get in only to be disappointed. Clubs in Vegas are some of the most expensive things you can do. Another way you can get free entry is going to freevegasclubpasses.com. This is a promoter website and they're legit. Everything they tell you on that website is true. If you, they say you're going to get a free drink, you're going to get a free drink, unlike a lot of the promoters on the street. So that's a good way to get into clubs, beach clubs, strip clubs. Strip yeah. clubs. <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> All right, number 14 is that for eating on the strip, food is super expensive. So we already mentioned that we like going to the buffets. The best value we think for any buffet we've tried on the strip is at Mirage. And another way that you can get discounts besides using My Vegas and getting like a buy one get one or getting one for free is if you are a military, if you have a military ID, you can get 40% off for you and up to three guests that are with you. Another little hack for the buffets is to go right at the end of breakfast or right at the end of lunchtime. So breakfast runs until 11 typically. So if you go right before 11, you get the breakfast price, but then all the lunch food comes out right before the higher dinner price and then you get all the dinner food. Number 15 is also about food. It is still expensive, so if you're not interested in the buffets, there's another option and that is Uber Eats. And this is a new one to us. I never would have expected this because typically you're looking at expensive delivery. It's also usually higher price than it going actually going to the restaurant. But in Vegas, you could be paying like five, 10, 15, 20 dollars to get to a restaurant and get back. So if you order Uber Eats and they have these rotating deals for free delivery, mm -hmm. You're not paying for the delivery. It's delivered right to your hotel. Perfect if you need some drunk food or something like that, or you're just tired and don't want to walk around <laughs> like it so often happens. Great option. And you can find stuff for $15 or less per plate, which is a really great deal. Yeah, on Uber Eats, there's a lot of options around 10 bucks a plate or we even ordered from this Thai place and it was a huge meal for 10 like we bucks could and we can share it. it. Yeah. Um, but if you're staying on the strip and trying to find food, you're going to be hard pressed to find a meal under $15 and more than likely it's gonna be in the $20 range. So Uber Eats, great and convenient option mm -hmm. right to your hotel. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Did we miss anything? Do you have any Vegas hacks that we haven't mentioned on how to save money? Let us know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel to see more that we have coming up. Share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it and find it valuable too. And... <laughs> <laughs> so you get notified the next time we put out a new video. We'll hopefully have some more Vegas videos coming up for you guys. Where we can see you there. <laughs>